I think about a few different factors. I kind of think of the three P's. So the first is whether what you're struggling with is persistent. So is it something that seems temporary or connected to a stressor, or is it something that has been going on for not just minutes or hours, but days or weeks or even longer? So if it's persistent, that's a good signal to seek help. The other P is pervasive, meaning it's kind of across the board. So it's not just affecting one slice of life that maybe has gotten stressful, but it's affecting cross-cutting things like sleep, like um, work, home, family, relationships, etc. So it's kind of um, anywhere and everywhere. And then the third P is problems. Is it causing problems in different areas of life? And I think of this as kind of the same as pain. So another way of framing it is, is how much pain is it causing? And if you've got one or more of those happening significantly, a good deal of pain, um, pretty persistent over time, and or kind of pervasive in different areas of your life, those are all signals of seeking help. The win is as soon as possible. I feel like people often wait until it um, gets bad enough to seek help for mental health, for suicidal thoughts, for any of the range of distressing things that we can go through. And we wouldn't do that if it were a wound or something, physical health, just sit on it and, and wait. So I think that it's really the same. Mental health is a part of physical health and seeking support as soon as possible helps you to intervene earlier and get the help that you deserve. And in terms of um, how to do it, I think reaching out to a primary care health professional is a great starting point if you're connected to one or can be connected to one. They have a lot of resources. They can often help assess the extent of the problem, how pervasive and persistent it is, how much pain it's causing you, and kind of match the resources to your needs. If you're looking outside of kind of westernized medicine, there are naturopaths, there are religious supports and spiritual leaders and other community resources. There's always somebody wanting to help and willing to help and resources out there for people. And there's also always the national hotline, uh, the 988 lifeline for suicide or other crises. They have a text line, it's 24 seven. The text is 741741. You can just text home to that number. And they have specialized services for populations like LGBTQ+, to try and support their unique needs, as well as veterans and other populations and the internet is full of resources if you're a person who identifies as part of a historically marginalized or currently marginalized population, the internet is also a good place to find either online supports or local supports that might not be um, as obvious to get to 